Hello friends. So there is a common query that how many questions should we attempt in the exam? Which should we should be aggressive or we should play safe? So uh, personally, from my experience, what had happened in my exam during my All India PG exam, so we had three hundred questions, but the marking scheme was the same: plus four and minus one. Plus four for correct and minus one for incorrect. So what happened in my exam was I was playing very very safe because of the fear of negative marking, and I landed up attempting only two forty questions. Remember, I'm telling it only because when I came out of the examination hall, majority of my friends had scored more than two eighty and two ninety. And then, if you are wondering what rank did I get at at that attempt, I still got a good rank of thirteen hundred in All India PG because majority of the questions that I had attempted were the ones which I was sure of. So remember, this might and there are very high chances that this will happen with you as well in the examination hall. when we give the grand test we are more relaxed and we play aggressive we say that let's mark more it's never going to harm us but in the examination hall we are very very cautious because we know that this is the final exam and one mark here and there can make a big difference so remember this that yes one mark here and there can make a big difference and that is why attempt more like even i used to do in the grand test i used to attempt all the questions but in the examination hall as i said i was very very over cautious i attempted only the ones which i was sure of so since the marking scheme is such that you get plus 4 if you get a right answer and you get minus 1 so the favor is more in the plus 4 so say that if you get you've marked 20 questions okay that which you are not sure of out of 20 questions even if 10 are right and 10 are wrong so for the 10 right you get 10 into 4 40 and 10 correct minus 10 so 40 minus 10 that is 30 you will score even if you get 50 right and 50 wrong out of those 20 so 30 marks is a big big jump in your scores and rank so i would personally say that with the marking scheme that we have in neat pg it's better to be more aggressive especially if you are aiming for the top ranks if you are one of those who's just aiming at qualifying the neat pg and you are stuck at the scores where you are only able to qualify then you can be defensive you can play safe and attempt the questions that you are only sure of so maybe you can try doing this in one of the grand test or by now you must be knowing when you have given the grand test what works in your favor so which questions to be left out are only the ones which you have absolutely no clue about they are like new questions if you are able to eliminate two options short sure, short sure, you have to attempt that if you are able to eliminate one option i would say that even that should be marked right but in the examination hall you can decide for yourself how is the difficulty level of the paper that all decides how you are going to attempt that so i hope this tip helps you in clarifying the doubt of how many questions to attempt and whether you should play safe or whether you should be aggressive thank you wishing you all the very best do join me for the free live classes on an academy app at 5 pm using code dr nikita thank you